Hey there, everybody. How you doing? Lee Stranahan. I am here at the office of Citizen Journalism School and the Populist. This is going to be quick, but uh, I don't know if you if you had a chance yet to listen to this morning's fault line segment. Where we, I'm going to mention two segments to you, one right after the other. If you want to understand how globalism affects things on a local level, in other words, how the confluence of money and business affects things on a local level. Listen to two segments this morning we did on Twin Falls, Idaho, and South Dakota. They are up, they're down on my Twitter feed right now and you can check them out. Uh, the Twin Falls story is one that I covered. It was about the rape of a five-year-old girl by three refugee boys. And we go into detail on how I believe that crime has been covered up and minimized by local officials. And I don't want to get into details because we did a good job of covering it this morning. We had Susan Pion, she's an attorney, former prosecutor, who talked about what happened. But the second segment actually feeds... No, it's on, it's on Twitter. It is. Just keep scrolling down. You'll see it. It's not that far back. It's the fault lines thing. You'll see it. But uh, the second one was on South Dakota. And these hearings where kids were taken in hearings that lasted less than 60 seconds, very, very frightening. Um, and so check those out. Thanks, by the way, very much. It's nice to see Fault Lines fans. Don't forget, the other way you can do this is subscribe to Fault Lines on iTunes. Just go to iTunes or Spreaker. Search for Fault Lines. You can get the episodes. Those came in hour two. Oh, and by the way, the other segment I would definitely check out is the great Dave Rubin was on this morning. As well, oh, by the way, as well as Tim Black. We had, we had some good guests this morning. Uh, well, we, we love your husband. If, you lo if your husband loves fault lines, we, we're not in that way. Get your mind out of the gutter. Stop. But, uh, no, you, it doesn't make any difference. You, you can use Android and still get access to that. Get the Spreaker app. It's like speaker with an R. Yeah, Tim's great. Tim is a great guest. I'll tell you what Tim went after today. This was gutsy. And he did this before these rape allegations came out. He went after Harvey Weinstein. Boom. And again, Tim's on the left. And he just doesn't care. He, he calls it as he sees it. Anyway, that's it. I just wanted to do a quick thing. Love you guys. Hey, I'll just mention we're still doing a fundraiser. It's up at the top of Twitter there. Thanks so much for people who uh, joined Citizen Journalism School, which you should do. We have more lessons for Kim coming for you. I'm probably going to go home and take, I'm going to be honest, I'm going to go home and take a nap. My wife and kids are coming to see me in D.C. Briefly. But my wife and kids are coming for the first time. If you follow me closely, you know that I've seen my wife once in the last 10 months now. So... It'll be nice to see him. And, uh, and who knows? Who knows what will happen? Maybe they'll be moving here. Who knows? It's a long story. I got to say, there are downsides to living in the swamp. Where would you rather raise your kids? A nice, wholesome, rural place in the Midwest or the Beltway? Think about it. See, it's tricky. Right? You see what I'm saying? Anyway, love you guys. Appreciate you taking the time. I'll talk to you later. Bye.